Welcome to Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. This is Jim Deadman, and i am just got today's video together for you. So I hope you enjoy what we're doing here in the shop. So pull your chair up virtually beside the computer, your television, whatever you watch these videos on. Sit back and enjoy the video. Okay, I hope today you enjoy my little project. Uh, I'm making a little tiller pin to go in my garden tiller that I have. And uh, I used a bolt, and you'll see in the video. It's, it's made out of a piece of, uh, actually, a leg bolt that was laying here in the shop. It's not the greatest finishes in the world, but for a piece to go on the garden tiller, it'll be just fine. So, uh, no further ado, here we go. The machinist makes a piece for the garden tiller. In this case you're wondering, I haven't for forsaken my horizontal bandsaw. But sometimes for little jobs like this, this is the, this is the thing right here. Of the bushing, so I kind of binded it there. I'm just going to cut me a section of it off here to work with, and I mean, this would be easier. I might end up it might be easier to do. Whoa, this is going to be fun. Let me get a little better hold of it. It would be easier to do on the horizontal. Uh, but anytime you cut the short stuff off on the horizontal somehow, on the horizontal, you, you know, I have to break the texture out. This is a relatively small piece, and it's just a piece of small steel bolt. Uh, it's a light bolt, so you know it's not very strong. So. And I want to see people, some people using my horizontal bandsaw too. So now I've got me a roughed out piece of stock here. Okay, there we go. We're doing a little face in here with the... I know I've got this out, but I don't want to rechuck it for once, so hopefully that'll give me no grief here. Yeah, this is probably just something like 10, 18 or something. It's, it's not going to be pretty, pretty. That'll get the job done. So let me be right back. Whoa, I didn't cut. Let me, uh, you know, I'm a big, see this is what I was trying to do. And this is, I thought I had it chucked out enough. Yeah, so let me pull her out just a little more so I have a little safety fit. is we're just taking the pin and just again this is a critical critical we're just taking the pin there and set this to stop and then we're going to start turning this tail I'll have to measure in a second but again if I don't hit this it's you know, got some room to play I'm going to take about 20,000 see what happens A little more. I hope that I, it's not going to flip around too much on it. Yeah, it's just, it's just like 10, 18 or something. So it's not going to be pretty. I'll have to slick it up in a while. So it's not machine really, really pretty. I might get a little faster and get a little better job going with it. But it's definitely some low quality steel. So, let me kind of make a few passes so I'll bring you back. The camera moved, and I just looked up and noticed it. This is some cheap steel. It's not going to be pretty. It'll probably polish and draw fire to get some sort of a finish on it. It's going to be a pillar pin anyway, so... Might be. 
that this thing's moving in the chuck a hair a bit. And if it's possible, because it's, it's, that's probably what's going on. All right, let me double check this and see what the diameter is to the pin now. Good, it's just a little bit under. All right, let me get some paper. Let me hit it with the file first, slow it back down to slower speed and we'll hold a file on it just a bit and then we'll sand it because again it, it, it really is not going to hurt this to be a little bit smaller than the diameter so we'll just hold it down to the end It does look a little bit naughty. It's not pretty, but it'll slide in there. That's all that matters. What I'm doing here is I'm just trying to kind of hand turn a little bit of a chamfer or radius by working both both X or both both axes together. Make a little cut right here. Just a bit touch. Let me zoom in. My head's just a little smaller, but I think it'll be all right. I'm going to go ahead and go with it. So that's the whole, and I'm not going to chamfer this in real big neither. I'm just going to kind of let it go too. So I think that'll work. I hope you enjoyed Slop in the Shop today. Just want to remind you that this is a copyrighted production of James Dedman Saw Logs Plastic Hubs for your enjoyment here on YouTube. Please tell your friends about Slop in the Shop or any other of my videos on the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already did so. And I really appreciate you taking your time to pull a virtual chair up and watching my video. So with no further ado, we will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching my video, especially Slop in the Shop.